that round was so impressive to me because you were so patient because you mm. were not getting anything. I did have one, one incident, right? Well, and gone. Don't speak to me. It was gone. It was Head. gone. It's good to know that one way or the other. Yeah, yeah. Be at the open. First so. opener. Yeah. The yeah, first major. Got there, yeah. And then the third week. Uh, by this point, like I was, I was like really looking forward to each mm -hmm. round. Like I genuinely loved it. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Like I was picking up so much in terms of the process of how you decide what shots to hit because what I've done in the past when I've played and this was the main thing I think for me was I would see a yardage and I had 150 yards I would always have 150 yards in my head right. irrelevant of slope or wind or anything like that so say it was 150 yards if it's 5 yards uphill mm. and the course planners tell you how much uphill they are it's 150 front, it's 5 yards uphill and the pin's 5 yards mm. on well, it's 160 yards, but I would have 155 in my head because that's the front of the green plus five to the right, pin, okay. 155. Well, it's uphill five. I wouldn't almost know that it was five. Mm, yeah. I'd go 155. It's a little bit uphill, or oh, it's a little bit into wind. Mm. Mm, it's normally nine iron. Uh, I'll hit eight iron, but I'd still have 155 in my head. head. Yeah. Whereas the process was like. 150 front, five yards on, 155, five yards uphill, 160, 10 yards of wind, 170. Okay. Can't miss it short, so then it becomes 170 to 175 yeah. as a zone type thing. It's like, okay, let's hit, yeah. let's hit a 172 yard seven iron. Mm. And that's the shot. Yeah. 172 yard seven iron, go. And it's not that 155 is out your head completely. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's you're trying to hit seven iron and swing it as if it was completely calm mm. flat ground and hit it 172 yeah. yards and that process was just so much more clear like mm. i realized how how much information i have in my head that is just really it's ambiguous a word that's un unclear what, that what that word? Un yeah yeah ambiguous or unambiguous yeah, yeah but fuzzy fuzzy yeah fuzzy. i would be i wouldn't have a specific number and i think that's a massive thing that anyone can do and almost if you if you play at your own course, try and get hold of a Bushnell or any other brand. Um, yeah, other you know, brands are available. Yeah, lots of ones by Bushnell. No, no, laser and get one with slope on. Just borrow it if you've got it, and go out on your course and map it and see each sort of where you normally hit mm. it, how far uphill and downhill it is. Make a note on your course plan it because it's massive. I mean, it, it can make, make a massive difference. Makes so much difference. Mm. You've literally got to hit it over those trees left as far left as you can hit it right that'll be good to see where that is looked extreme left off that tee but every time last week we were like looked all right but then stuck behind them palms it's hard to actually commit that far left yeah and even that what i felt was off the planet left was only left semi yeah so we're in it left this week Tricky though, isn't it? Quite a bit of undulation up and down, trying to get the numbers. Actual numbers, 135 there, playing it. So Played it 160 shot, yeah. It's so hard to see him when it's in the air, you're kind of thinking, could go over the back into the ocean, could be stiff, could be 40 yards short. Don't say a word. Yeah, it's sweet to the hands. <laughs> go sit, go sit, go sit. Look at that though. Is that you by the pin? Nah. Okay. So, third week, Tenerife. It's third tournament week in a row. I'm getting to a point now. Well, this is another thing, <laughs> isn't it? This is another thing where everyone's completely different. A lot of the lads will play every single event you can play in. For you, I mean, physically, not physically, physically, mentally. Physically, physically I'm fine. Physically, yeah. I can do that. Mentally, oh God. It's a different, different thing for me. But I've, I, I know that. Yeah. I kind of know it. So. You've done it long enough to the, know. The thing with the third week of Tenerife was a bit of why the hell not? What am I going home to? I'm going back to, you know, lockdown in the UK, yeah. crappy weather. I'm in the sun, there's no real bubble. It's a bit like, well, why the hell wouldn't you carry on playing? I'd rocked up on Thursday. Yeah. And straight away, even in warm up, it, it, it feels, again, it feels fuzzy. Mm -hmm. is, is the way I can put it where the lack of focus isn't there and I kind of knew it and with that then 
like frustration just builds and builds and builds throughout the day. And I've, I've tried loads of things to try and get over this. I, I'm a nightmare because I can't make myself do something that my mind's already said no to. Right, okay. And that sounds weird. Yeah. But if if subconsciously my mind goes, no, I can't get beyond that. I can't yeah. make myself, even though I want to, and there's a massive frustration there, make myself want to do it. Inside, I was like, nah. Yeah, we could see it was a different, it was a different mentality. You could feel like it. The, like the, it was, the pace of the swing was, wasn't was there. Yeah. The, yeah, the, it was felt more like a practice round again, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you, you even yeah. said the speed had dropped out yeah. of it, and I just played dog. Yeah, but then weirdly, then Friday rocks up. Friday morning, you shot one over in that round, yeah. didn't you? And missed a missed a two and a half foot putt for birdie, three foot putt for birdie right, on yeah. twelve, um, and then didn't birdie the par five after that. And it was just, yeah, it was just a frustrating day. Mm. But then the Friday. Again, got out, got out of bed the right side, if you like. Yeah. I knew I, I knew I had to shoot at least five under par. Yeah. And before even going out, you're kind of looking at it going, well, get it all the par fives, so wind's in the right place for these, there's that chance and there's this chance. And you're kind of like ticking your way through the holes going, well, if, if, make a birdie in this next run of four. I just need one in this next run of four. And there's a couple of par fives. And you do that and you, you, know, you tick one off. So it is a bit outcome based and it is a bit projecting into the future, but mm -hmm. it's it's still I'm going to use the word control. You're still controlling things up to that point, yeah. And you're still you're still going with a little bit of a plan, yeah. So and all I did was just tick away during the day to the point where I needed one more to go, didn't I? Yeah. So I mean, we we we've mentioned this par five, which was the third hole, which was actually our twelfth. Yeah. Because we were starting on the back nine, uh, were a bit of poor tee shot, scrambled it around, actually chipped in and made birdie, and that kind of then went, oh right, okay, yeah. he's a real chance now. Because I only needed one more to get myself to four under par. Fourth for the day, yeah. Right? Fourth yeah. hole, I birdied a lot during the last week and a half. Yeah, um, it was a, it's a missed a chance there. Hit a great shot into the par three. Yeah, missed that. Yeah, sixth missed the green, but nearly chipped in. That one's add it again, mm -hmm. um, but nearly chipped in. Yeah. Oh yeah, did nearly chip in. And then in, yeah. seventh, the par three playing down the wind. It was one seventy odd, and it's nine nine. Hit it into ten twelve foot. Yeah. Hold it, and I was like, right, okay. I thought that was brilliant because it yeah. was so easy to get that, that round. Mm. Regardless of what happened after, we'll get onto that. But that round was so impressive to me because you were so patient because you mm. were not getting anything no no you miss a fairway and it'd be in a terrible lie and you'd miss a green and it, you, you just wouldn't have a shot or mm. putts were lipping out and again you got to five under for the round through 16 and it was it was the worst yeah yeah it was the worst you yeah. were gonna be like it it mm. was and then yeah well eight 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 ten of a, a par five converts into a par four but it's still 530 par four um you know, it made made a great, you know, it's made a real solid par yeah. down there. Yeah. Um, well, and then you, you actually hit a putt about four foot past, and I was like, oh uh, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. hold it, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. it's all right. And then uh, nine, yeah, good drive away. Um, nine, the ninth green. Oh my word, it is so funky. Yeah. Massive tear in it to the point where if you catch the tear in the wrong place with your second shot it comes all the way back off the front edge and then down the slope even though you've hit that way, yeah, even it. though you've hit the middle of the green it, it, you still miss the green effectively so you've got this little slither on the back edge it's like a boomerang at the top of the green yeah so there's a bit more room to the left hand side to that flag yeah. position so it gave me a little bit more margin we hit it down the left side got it on the right tier to 20 25 foot yeah yeah three putted uh for bogey to miss cut by one yeah and that that was yeah don't speak to me. It was gone. Was, it was, gone. Is, and this is the sort mm. of thing that was happening. It wasn't mm. a bad putt. It was a putt that you tried to hold. Well, again, you know, in the back was, of my mind, in the back of my mind, it was borderline the week before between four and five under. So I had to try and because even though I'm five under for the day, I'm only four under for the tournament. So I shot one under the day, before, one yeah, over the yeah. day before. So in the back of my mind, I still might have to make this. I can't just dolly it up there. I've still got to try and actually get it to the hole and hold the putt. And I did that, but I knocked it three foot, well, three and a little bit past, yeah. and it was a little bit uphill to it. So I've left myself three and a half footed down 
fucking hell. And it's, it's just and it's just a pace that I've just got to. Uh, yeah, so it's just one of them. When it happens, and it was like I said, I thought that round was probably of the three weeks was the best one, considering mm. the day before you just weren't in the right place to perform. Yeah. That you actually switched it around, went out, mm. did what you had to do, apart from the three put on the last. Yeah, and, yeah. and that was that. But I thought coming away from those three weeks, mm. I was like brilliant you know looking like you can have your week and that's yeah, what yeah. it's about in it at some stage mm -hmm. if you struggle and struggle and struggle sometimes you can't see a light and you're yeah, like yeah. when I just hope it's going to be lucky but mm -hmm. like i could see from them like it was built the there, golf game was like, building the golf game there. was building so then we had palava getting home this other side you don't see is you see guys on tv there on a thursday thursday through sunday and that's all you see the amount of stuff that's going on behind the scenes to get you there it's yeah, it's a lot going it's, on. It's, it's, it is stressful. Yeah, your routine for a tournament, you practice mm. this day, you do that, you do that, and that's kind of out the window. And oh, you've, yeah. got to, you've got to kind of, it's just the way things are at the minute, yeah. and everyone's had to kind of deal with things and cope with mm. changes, but it just makes it a little bit more of a challenge, doesn't it? Yeah, so based on that, we well, I decided that the Belfry is an hour and a half from the house. I thought, right, but there was an option for us to stay at home that week. Took that option. Because again, like I said previously, it was it was a bubble again. I haven't been doing, I haven't really been enjoying a bubble. So a chance to not be in a bubble situation mm -hmm. in a hotel, locked in my hotel room, I'd take an hour and a half drive and stay at my house yeah. if you offered it to me again. Mm -hmm. Now, looking back, with how my back is in cold weather, possibly wasn't the best thing to do with the you know the hour and a half drive yeah. travel and then the cold weather there. But like you, you saw Thursday, well it was Wednesday actually. Tournament started Wednesday, Wednesday yeah. at, at the Belfry. Um, played okay again got very little from it yeah oh absolutely yeah. but the, like some of yeah. the, the lie on like 17 par 5 at Belfry dogleg left to right mm. nailed it absolutely nailed it perfect quite narrow into the hitting area way mm. and it get up there it's in the semi just in the semi and the semi is great because it's like into a par 5 and you got 3 iron mm. it's perfect get up there and there's a little bit of like but like it's worm gone cast, into but, yeah, green it's gone. and then the, it's sat yeah. in like a mud, yeah, like a muddy worm cast. Yeah. I was like, what's that? <laughs> you hit it good. You hit yeah. it great off the tee. Yeah, yeah. Considering it's about minus two. I thought you hit it great, like tee to green, mm. off the tee especially was was really good. And yeah, yeah. You just shot one over. Well, look, do, do, so there's an incident there, basically, and this, it showed that my back wasn't in the right place where we got onto the sixth hole. Um, and I hit, I hit a good solid three wood or driver off the tee, and I've got wedged into the green, fatted it 50 yards in front of me into the water. Oh, yeah. Never done that. No. Never done that. Literally like, like a. Off the middle of the fairway, absolutely perfect, clean line. 40 yard wedge, right? Yeah. You complete fatted it. Complete fatted it. I didn't even watch it, I just seen the divot, and I was like, oh, that's quite a big divot. And then I just seen the splash, I was like, I actually bounced before the water, <laughs> didn't it? I was like, who's it that? Yeah. So it shows that, like, I, you know, I couldn't move as I wanted to move anyway. Got there the next day, warming up, and literally I could not get to the bottom of the golf ball, could I? Was yeah. Almost topping yeah. nine irons down the range. It was actually quite embarrassing to the point of, like, yeah, this isn't going to work today. So basically then had to withdraw and i've just been trying to manage my back ever since which is frustrating because like you say grand canary and tenerife building, yeah. looked like the golf game was just starting to mm -hmm. you know develop and get better and then to obviously finish the last two weeks obviously with a three point in the last and then a yeah and then a, a withdrawal you know it's, it's just one of those isn't it you know there's still loads of time left in the season so next events i'm gonna do a few more for you aren't i he is actually yeah made the cut I did have one, one incident, right? Well, hang on, you, he had a moment, but I'm not going to lie, I also had a book in my pocket, so he can't be fully to blame for this, because I... a job, in it? Yeah, well, go on. Last round, second week in Tenerife, when he's doing all right, second hole, par three, and I saw, honestly, he did it so many times, you look through his card, he birdies the hole before a par three, it's really annoying. I said to him, like, you're going to make birdies do it, like, before a par four, we just hit and driver. Because he birdies the, the one before. And then I've got to get the yardage dead quick because we're first on the tee. So you've got to get up, get the yardage dead quick before he gets there, really, so that you're ready to go because you don't want to put on the clock or anything. So 
get there, pace it out, get it, get the number, yeah, whatever it was, 152. Now, every, every yardage on a par three, it's not a plaque on the floor, it's usually a dot on the yeah, back of the tee that you pace off, and the, obviously the teeing ground usually between five and ten forward of that, yeah. basically, depending on what day you are. But you're always pacing, you're not, to the point where you're not even looking at the dot, you just know back the, the back tee, cut yeah. of grass, yeah. there, there's a dot there, you, yeah, there's a dot there, and then you, you pace off that. There's like 152 front, 156 pin, into breeze, whatever, okay, I think it's playing, I think it's 165 shot, just dead eat, like 165 yeah, yeah. go. So he's hit this eight iron, pure, absolutely pure. Eyeball it, you know one of these? Little draw, and I'm looking at it, I'm like, it's in the air quite long, why is that still in the air? And then it comes down, like, the pin's sort of front, it's come down, but air mail the green, hit the bank at the back, I think it's hit the TV <laughs> tower to be fair, isn't it, at the back, which is good, because it would have been like, gone. And I'm like, what's going on there? And he's looking at it, he's like, looks back and he goes, different T. Moved the T forward, hadn't they? The T from the day before. But they move, they, they do it's a trick. They yeah. move all the boards and everything. So it's not like when you look back, you just see the boards, you don't see the other T. And it looked the same, <laughs> like I thought it looked Perceptually, the same. Perceptually, there's the downhill part like, three. Perceptually, when you're looking at something downhill, it's hard to tell that you're closer sometimes, you know, from, from perception point of view. So, I didn't even check. I thought I thought we were on the same team. Honestly, the other, the other lad's caddy said to me, he said, did it not look like, did you not think it looked short? I was like, well, obviously not, no, because I'm <laughs> So I'm walking up there, I'm thinking, oh, please get this up and down. And you get up there and it's not great, is it? It's in like that long, thick Bermuda stuff. And I'm like, oh God. So I felt like a goalkeeper that just made like a complete cock up, or I felt like a defender that made a really bad back pass, and I'm like, please save me, goalkeeper mm. here. Anyway, he chips it up to two foot and holds it for a par. I was like, oh, thank <laughs> you. Move on. I think we buried it next on. after that did, as well, yeah. just to yeah. keep the momentum going. Move on. So, <laughs> so yeah, that was that was lesson learned, and it, unfortunately it didn't cost anything, so that was good. Yeah, I'm gonna do a few more events. Next one's gonna be Scottish Open. Uh, no, Ireland, Ireland, Irish Open. Ireland, well, I'm hope. Look, I've obviously just got to make sure my back's all right and stuff. So we're hoping for Ireland uh, Scottish Open, and then the Open. Well, I'm going to be there one way or the other. Yeah. So Al's got uh, Al's going to be going to qualify himself. It'd be amazing if we could play, obviously, in the same tournament together. If not, I think Al will be humping the bag around for me again. It's good to know that one way or the other. Yeah, I'm yeah. Be at the Open. First so. Open. Yeah, I'll be able to yeah, say first it, major. got there, yeah. So that's the plan. Like I, like I said before, like, thanks for asking me to do it because I loved it, no, genuinely on. loved it. It was brilliant to, to be see it, see your game mm -hmm. in tournament. And people ask me about like, you know, what were the other players? Like you just don't see it, do you? Like on, in, you see them on the range and stuff and in practice rounds and stuff, but you don't, you're so into it, I don't, you don't really, see that much of it but mm. it was brilliant like all the lads and everyone great brilliant caddies were all spot on highlight actually highlight was Gran Canaria walking past the, the old where they were eating outside yep. Eddie Peppel sat on his own walked past ah the famous Al <laughs> I was like yes <laughs> yes Eddie didn't know what else to say after that I was like <laughs> Absolute deer in the head. Uh, right also, there. yeah, we had one of the stats guys come up. Uh, can we get can we get photograph? Oh, you did, yeah. yeah. yeah photograph. Yeah, I don't know what kind of accents I'm trying to do. Uh, I don't know what that no, accent know. was, but yeah, good fun. So that was the main. I mean, we had good fun there. Yeah, we did, and that, that, that was that was. I'll be honest, that was the main thing why I asked him because it was always going to be a laugh, but he actually turned out to be half decent as well so that's good that's good i think i got better at the numbers and stuff that's the main thing i think sure. i did have a bit of input then i changed yeah. a couple of ones actually yeah main one on the 12th we were like this is in tenerife i can't remember what the number was but you were like do you think it's an 80 shot and i was like i think it's 85 shot this He's like, oh, right okay so it's 85 it's at two foot away it's like good caddy and missed the putt so that was wasted Anyway, so I think that's pretty much sums it up in a long-winded way of, yeah. of the first first four events. Yeah, like I said before, it was brilliant, and I'm ready to go again. Glad you are. Just <laughs> yeah, it's good, isn't it? One of us is more keen than the other. <laughs> <laughs> oh,
class. Thanks for watching. See you next Tuesday. By the way, Paul's got a new cat. A bit of wildlife. It's literally wildlife as well, because it is like a wild cat. That's his new thing. He's got a wild cat. So this counts as wildlife. All right. That's three months old. Hiya. Yeah. It's a wild cat. Hello. Good dine it. Look at him. Hello. How are you doing there? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. Are you gonna say something? See you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. Say it. See, see you next Tuesday. No. no. <laughs> Tried to bite me. <laughs>